Patchwork Poems by Sue Clancy While playing in the meadow, a fox has no need for wind-up clocks. My dashhound's legs are short, his back is broad and long. Surely he is full of love when he bursts out in song. My cat reaches high to catch a butterfly, but the butterfly says bye-bye. Ladybug, ladybug, what do you see? A flower for you and a flower for me? An early riser, Mr Bird, often had the first word, but the day belonged to Hen, who only spoke now and then. Mole sipped her tea. Let's go out to sea. So they went and did sail away in a crockpot lid. The bees saw some flowers. Let's stay here for hours. One thing that a hedgehog knows is how the rest of the story goes. The Pumpkin Patch It was the time of year when holidays are near and grown-ups begin to say, here's what we'll do today. We'll go see Farmer Hatch to pick pumpkins from his patch. Now pumpkins know just what to do. They hide from me, they hide from you. They hunker low to the ground in hopes they won't be found. But the apples on the trees shout, pick me, pick me. So adults and kids go and pay, then wait for the wagon full of hay. This day they rumbled past a scarecrow who shouted to the patch, lay low. Another scarecrow said loudly, duck. The wagon rumbled, where in luck? Over and over as it went up a hill, when it stopped, the night was still. But pumpkins are a curious lot. They looked at the humans, even the tot. Their orange roundness shone in the moon. So many were picked very soon. Suddenly Grandpa bellowed, Hey, that one there is getting away. At the far end of the patch, a pumpkin escaped the thickest thatch and ran, rolled, tumbled down the hill. For all we know, it's rolling still. The humans by then were chilled and cold, so to the barn went young and old, where apple cider was nice and hot, and they admired the pumpkins they'd got. But Grandpa to this day talks of the pumpkin who got away. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.